Makers, this is the fifth card I'm making with the Tim Holtz Stampers Anonymous 2024 release. And today my focal uh, point for this card is going to be the wheel stencil. And then I'm also going to use the Miss You sentiment from the Abstract Florals stamp from this release. And this is going to be a Another super simple card. That's what I've tried to stick with this time is keeping all of the cards super simple um, and uh, easy to make so that we can get cards made and get them out to our friends and family and the people that we want to send them to. So this is going to be a miss you card for someone that maybe you haven't gotten to see in a while uh, that moved away, whatever the situation is. All right, so I have sketched this out and then you can see that I kind of gave up, but I'm gonna stamp the Miss You over and over and over across the front of this slimline card. I'm gonna make this a slimline card because it's such a big stencil. I could make a smaller card with the smaller stencil if I wanted, but I kind of wanted to make a, a big statement with this stencil. And then I am going to, over that, I'm gonna go ahead and stencil this in some blues and teals and greens across there and then um, I'm going to go ahead and stamp this on just a piece of white and I'll probably mat it with a piece of black and I'm going to just put that in the center again super super simple and I may go ahead and trim this down and put it on a black card back I haven't quite decided that yet but regardless that's where we're going so let's get making I began by cutting a piece of Distress watercolor cardstock in a slimline size, so that's eight and a half inches tall and three and a half inches wide. And you can see that I just very quickly started stamping the Miss You stamp from the Abstract Florals. I'm stamping it with just a stamping block and my Hickory Smoke Distress Archival Ink. So you can see that I'm kind of altering where the, the words begin. And I'm not really worried about if these are exactly perfectly straight. I just went for it and uh, you really can't tell. Now it's important that you do dry it because now that you're going to stencil over it, you want to make sure that archival ink is dry so it doesn't smudge underneath. And I just picked a couple of pairs or a few pairs of six um, pairs of Distress inks that I thought went well together when one of them was the darker version and one was a lighter version. So I began by cutting a few pieces of masking paper and then I masked off each section and I started with the lighter version of the ink that I was using in that section and then ended by blending in the darker version and then I just worked my way all the way around starting with the lighter on the outside and lightly with my blending tool and then working my way into the center where I wanted more saturation and a much darker color. So you can see that just from the light version, I got all the way to the medium color and then I went ahead and finished it out by blending in from the darkest version of the dark ink up into that middle area. So there you can see I just did it again and then one more time. Now when that was done, I made sure that that was dry so that it wouldn't run or smudge or anything like that. And I wanted to trim it down so that it could be a card front on an, a slimline card base. I cut my card base out of black heavy stock and you can see it just peeking out around the edges there on the card. And now I'm working on my sentiment. So I stamped the Miss You in black archival on a little half inch piece of distressed watercolor card stock. And I am backing it now on a piece of the black heavy stock. Now while that's drying, I got out some Lost Shatter Distress ink. I thought that would go well with the hickory smoke, but not be too much. And I'm gonna go ahead and edge my card front in that color. And I noticed that that moved just a little bit. So I went ahead and went around the whole card front with Lost Shadow, just add a little bit of distress, but not too much. 
And as you can see off camera, I went ahead and did a simple stitch with my sewing machine and black thread all the way around the card front. And now I'm getting ready to put the sentiment on the card. So you can see that I did put some chipboard on the back so that it will stand out and I have it centered right in the middle of the card. All right, this turned out to be pretty much exactly what I planned. And I like the misuse stamped in the Hickory Smoke archival and then all those blues kind of going over in that wheel pattern. And to make these, I just used, as you probably saw, I know it was in fast forward, but just two different stamp pads and then just blended them. And then, you know, having that sentiment stamped in black and then framed in black really just, you know, makes it pop out. And again, I also have it uh, so that it is raised as well, but it just makes it pop with the gray and the blues in the background. And, you know, I picked this color scheme because if you're missing someone, of course, you're a little bit blue, right? So that's why I picked that color scheme. Uh, so I just think this went uh, together really well. Um, it did not take too long. In fact, the stamping of the Miss You went a lot faster than I thought it was going to. And it helps that it is handwritten because it's already a little wonky. And so, you know, as you're stamping, you don't have to feel like, oh my goodness, I, I got that a little bit off. It totally works. And so, and then, um, you know, uh, masking each section, uh, that took a little bit of time, but it really wasn't too bad. So yeah, I had a great time with this. Uh, totally enjoyed making this card. I hope you enjoyed following along. And as always, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments for this video. If you want any of the products to make a card like this, you can find those also in the comments for this video. You can find still shots, simple uh, explanations or, or directions on my blog, as well as links for the products on my blog as well at playswellwithpaper.blogspot.com. And I want to thank you for watching again and wish you a very creative day. Mm -hmm.